Let's see the workflow of the student's dashboard. This is a home page where the students can search the categories in the platform and uh, they can look for the group classes and courses from here and they can filter the group classes and courses from the category list. And uh, once the student has already purchased the group class or he has uh, purchased the course, it will come with a tag that it says purchased. So this way, uh, the student gets the validation that he has uh, purchased the course of the group class already. That will prevent him from uh, buying the course or the group or booking the group class again. So also on the home page, there's an option uh, to look for the verified teachers and then uh, they can book free trial classes in the platform. This free trial classes uh, is uh, the limit set by the admin or the site owner from the back end. So based on that limit, the students can book uh, the free trial classes. Suppose if the site owner sets uh, the students uh, free trial class limit to five, the students can book five free trial classes in the platform. And the students can actually choose tutors by filtering the grades, uh, categories, subjects, topics, availability, as well as the country and the zip code. And uh, they can also make the tutor as their uh, favorite tutor with the heart icon, and it will be added to the favorite tutor list. You can see the list of one-to-one -one classes, group classes and courses. If you click on one-to-one -one class, the tutors, uh, one-to-one -one classes will be displayed here with the slots and uh, the student can actually uh, choose the category, subject and topic and then uh, book for the class. You can make the payment and then um, once the payment is made, it's, it will be automatically uh, it will be automatically launching the my transactions page that the transaction is completed by the student so now the payment is made by the student so it will automatically go to the my transactions page you can see that the transaction is completed So now the one-to-one -one class session is booked by the uh, student. The same way you can click on choose tutors and you can look for the group classes and courses and you can make the payment and you can book for the group classes and courses respectively. So you can click on uh, view group classes. The group classes can be viewed, uh, posted by the tutor, uh, can be viewed here. As mentioned earlier, the purchase group classes will come with the tag that says purchase. Likewise, the purchased uh, courses will have the tag that it says purchased. So. So once the one-to-one -one class and group classes is completed by the student, then the students can go and rate and review. And for courses, once the student purchases the course, he can rate and review the tutor. Suppose uh, the student wants to share the profile, uh, you know, the social media. Suppose the student wants to share the tutor, uh, John's profile, he can share through Facebook and Twitter. And there is a message box to send uh, messages to the tutor from here. And this will be displayed uh, in the chat box from the profile settings. So let's go with the dashboard uh, settings. So each tile icon will navigate to the respective function. So if it, if click on my purchased courses, it will launch to the uh, list of courses purchased by the student. And uh, my messages. So there is this is a message box showing the interactions between the uh, tutor and the student. And this is the profile settings of the uh, student where the student can edit his profile, update his password. And uh, if he has finished uh, the course to 100%, the course completion certificate will be generated. And uh, it can be also saved as PDF by the student. And uh, the student can mark his favorite tutor, favorite group classes. The so favorite group classes mark will be in the favorite uh, group classes list. Likewise, the favorite courses can be marked and it will be under favorite courses list as mentioned earlier the my transactions page will be uh, launched immediately after the student has uh, made any payment now the status uh, is completed so the my lessons page will actually display 
uh, the lesson or the appointment uh, booked by the student as well as the tutor. There will be a Zoom link against each appointment. So now the status is booked. Once, um, once the class is abo about to begin, uh, it will have a Zoom icon here. So where the student can actually go and click on the Zoom icon to begin the class. This is uh, this Zoom icon is apart uh, from the uh, email notifications, uh, which is already uh, been sent to the tutor and the student on the uh, Zoom reminder for, for the uh, session. And from here, the student can actually start uh, the class. So the students can actually cancel the class 24 hours before the session. Uh, for both the one-to-one -one class as well as the group class in the platform. Suppose uh, he has booked a one-to-one -one class, so there is an option to cancel the class 24 hours and they can, he can uh, leave a reason for cancellation and click on can't join the course. So he can do that. Or the student can also reschedule uh, the class eight hours before the session. So once clicked on reschedule, the this is for the one-to-one -one class. The reschedule option is for the one-to-one -one class. He can click on the other uh, available slots and then he can book the session. So this way the class will be rescheduled. The students can also upload course materials from here. So uh, he can, uh, if he has any doubts, he can ask the tutor and uh, the tutor will also uh, reply. So this lesson material or the course material can be attached by both the student and the tutor against each appointment. So now it's updated successfully. So uh, if the student is canceling the class himself, then he has to uh, request for refund. If the class is canceled by the tutor, then automatically uh, the request will be sent or the system will trigger the request automatically and it will be sent to the admin for approval. So the admin can approve or reject it. And this is my courses. So my courses is uh, whatever the courses that uh, the student has purchased in the platform. So it will have a progress bar denoting the percentage of completion. And as mentioned earlier, once the student finishes the course to 100%, course completion certificate will be generated in the profile settings of the student. And these are the lecture details. This is just like Udemy. Once a course is purchased by the uh, student, he can write uh, reviews and ratings on it. And this is the refund request. So the student can uh, request for refund uh, uh, through this PayPal email ID that is given uh, from the uh, profile settings of the student. So this is how uh, the student, these are the functions of the student's dashboard. Thank you.